We are finally here, the last home game for the North Carolina Tar Heels this season. Hello, everyone. My name is Nathan. I am one half of the Heel Brothers, and welcome into the North Carolina Notre Dame Senior Night uh, Game Preview. Boy, this one's going to be a, a sad one. I'm not going to lie. To, to, to start off with, last home game for the Tar Heels, that's yeah, it's never a good thing. You know, the basketball season is coming to a close. You're getting ready to get into the tournament time, ACC and national tournaments. But also, this is going to be the very, very last game for Armando Baycott. And I'm telling you, man, we are going to miss this guy when he is gone. He has had a impact on and off the court for the North Carolina Tar Heels and Man, it is going. It's going. To, it's definitely going to be hard not seeing him on the court. And this could very well be R.J. Davis's last time on that UNC court in the Dean Dome on the Roy Williams court uh, for us. So this is this is tough, man. I'm not going to lie. You know, Armando Baycott's been amazing. R.J. Davis has been nothing short of phenomenal. I don't think it's a hidden secret yet uh, or anymore that. I'm a big fan of North Carolina guards. Joel Berry is my favorite uh, UNC player of all time. And uh, RJ Davis is right there behind him. And I'm already falling in love with Elliot Cadeau, man. I've already, I already like that guy a whole lot, but I don't know what it is about the guards. Dude. I love them, but Armando Baycott has been amazing. And uh, this is going to be a fun night. And I, hopefully he goes out there and has himself a big night. One last time in the Dean Dome. This is senior night for the North Carolina Tar Heels, and there will be seven total seniors that will be honored uh, in the Dean Dome before the game on Tuesday night. Those seven seniors are Cormac Ryan, transfer from Notre Dame. This is going to be a fun game for him. Armando Baycott, Paxson Wojcik, R.J. Davis, Jalen Withers, Dewey Ferris, and Creighton Lebo. Only two of those players have the eligibility to be able to come back. That is R.J. Davis and Jalen Withers, both of which, in my opinion, I would like to see come back next season. Um, for RJ, I think it would be a good thing for him just because I don't know. Even though he's played very well this year, and in my opinion, is the lead runner for National Player of the Year, I don't think that the the draft scouts have really you know, picked his stock up too much. And if he does want to attempt to try and play this game uh, professionally, Given the height difference there, I do believe that he may need to come back one more season and continue this role that he's on. And given how the team will be constructed next year, you know, I could see it being the case. So, you know, we'll see how this thing goes, but definitely like to see him come back. And Jalen Withers as well, I think he's a good piece coming off the bench, and uh, he could definitely use another year as well, especially if he wants to continue his basketball career after this year. Notre Dame comes into the Dean Dome Tuesday night, March the 5th, 2024, to take on the number nine North Carolina Tar Heels. The team's coming in. North Carolina comes in 23 and six on the season, 15 and three in the conference, coming off the big win, 79 to 70 win against the NC State Wolfies. Notre Dame comes in having a tough season, 12 and 17 overall, 7 and 11 in the conference, but are coming off some pretty solid wins as of late. You know, they beat Wake and the last two games, they beat Wake and they beat Clemson 69 to 62. So NC State, over their last five, they got a couple of solid wins here. You know, wins over Clemson, Wake, Georgia Tech, Louisville, one loss to Syracuse. But those are some solid wins right there. So uh, safe to say that North Carolina cannot take this Notre Dame team lightly. They are a team that can give you a run for their money, and uh, they, they, they can, they're going to throw everything they can at you um, in the Dean Dome on senior night to try and spoil that night. Uh, for the Tar Heels. So North Carolina does come in as a 96.3% favorite uh, per ESPN matchup predictor. You can look at that and probably, they haven't did the spread yet, but it's probably going to be uh, probably starting at a double digit spread, maybe nine points to into the double digits at that point in time for the spread of this game. Stat leaders for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish are Marcus Burton, uh, leading them with 17 points per game. Leading rebounder, I don't think I'm going to say this name right, but I'm going to try my best, is Kiba Najai with 5.4 rebounds a game. Their assist leader also being Marcus Burton. This is a freshman as well. 
um, with 4.3 assists per game. So good to see the young freshman over there, Burton, uh, leading them statistically in two of the big categories there. Our leaders, once again, have not changed. R.J. Davis coming in with 21.4 points per game. Armando Baycott coming in, leading us in the rebounding category, 10.3 rebounds per game. And our assist leader being Elliot Cadeau, who has raised his total at 4.2 assists per game. The two teams statistically differ a lot. And you can see this by the graphic up on the screen right now. As Notre Dame comes in, averaging 63.5 points per game, shooting 40% from the field, 36 rebounds per game, 10 assists, 2 blocks, and 5 steals. That is actually the only category in which they match in is the steals category. Like I said, we are coming off a two-game win streak, and North Carolina comes in averaging 81.4 points per game on 44% shooting, 40 rebounds per game, 14 assists, 4 blocks, and also five steals and i guess we honestly for both teams just be nice we're going to round it up to six rebounds or six steals uh because you know it's 5.9 steals so we'll just round it up to six just to just to make them both sound pretty good so averaging about six steals a game that's pretty good which north carolina statistic has seemingly went up just a little bit uh after last game as i mentioned both teams in their last five games have won four out of those last Five, North Carolina coming in off the big win against NC State and also wins against Miami, Virginia, Virginia Tech, and then the one loss to Syracuse. Notre Dame coming off a big win against Clemson and also has wins against Wake Forest, one loss to Syracuse, and wins against Louisville and Georgia Tech. So this is a team that you definitely cannot take lightly this is a team that's going to get after you and they're going to they're going to throw everything they can at you uh, i think this is going to be a kind of a fun back and forth game to start off i'm curious to see what this this burton kid's all about i've you know i've saw a lot of good things about him and i think it's going to be you know an interesting uh first few minutes figuring him out um uh, defensively, even though he is 5'11", so the matchup with him and RJ will be a pretty good one, considering they're of similar size, and, you know, he's not going to be able to tower over him with his height, and I'm I'm really excited to see what uh, RJ can do defensively, or Elliot Kiddo, for that matter, you know, dealing with somebody, you know, more of their size, so uh, curious to see how this thing goes. I do expect a pretty big game uh, from the Tar Heels in this game. Um, I, I think uh, <clears throat> I think Cormac Ryan should be the focal point of the offense if he can be. Now, obviously, you need to go out there and try to win this game. Right? That that you know, figure out a game plan that goes out there and wins you this game. But I would like to see Cormac Ryan being the focal point tomorrow night because you know I have a thing for when guys play their old teams. I like to see. You know, we got to see it with Jalen Willers earlier in the season against Louisville. Uh, I kind of want to see him go out there and get his. I want to see Cormac Ryan get ready and get out there and shoot the lights out. It's going to be the last time he's doing it, and uh, I, I think this, this could be a big game for him potentially. And especially, not only that, this is the game before the Duke game. This is the game before the final game of the season. We are almost to tournament time. We have two more games, and we are in tournament time. So, you know, I want to see some more continuity on the team. Um, I want to see Cormac Ryan getting out there and doing his thing and also getting in the rotation. I do think he showed a lot of maturity in the last game uh, against NC State where, you know, he wasn't trying to force everything. He was a much more of a willing passer. And he said, you know, kind of the idea of the ball will find me when it needs to. So I liked what he did there. And, you know, you know, if that's the case and, uh, you know, when the ball does find him, if he starts stroking that thing instead of just throwing shots up and, I think it could be a really big help for the team going forward because, um, you know, when a, when a player fully buys into the system and everything that's going on there, man, if every player does that, especially on this team, I think we could do something pretty special. But um, I do expect North Carolina to come out here and get a win, a double-digit win at that matter. I'm actually going to put it probably about uh, 82 to – 68. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I that's where I'm keeping my spread at. We'll see how it is. I've gotten I've gotten a I got one prediction right, and I came close last week, or uh, yeah, this past weekend with NC State. But you know, North Carolina's got to be smart. Got to continue to move the ball 
on offense. I like what they're doing. I like that they're kind of settling down defensively a little bit more again. Um, and they're starting to refine that identity that they had very early in the season when everybody was talking about them being top five in offense and also defense. So North Carolina, in my opinion, comes out big win against Notre Dame. The last hoorah for Armando Baycott and, you know, Cormac and potentially RJ, Jalen. Um, and I'm curious to see how this thing goes from here. But uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Tell me what you guys think about the Tar Heels and their their big matchup right here against Notre Dame going in to the final game of the year. Going to talk to Alan about something when it comes to that game. I'm going to see what he's up to and see if I can't pull off something pretty cool for you guys. I think it'd be really cool to do so. Uh, keep you keep you guys posted on that, and I'll get back to you pretty soon on that. But uh, one more thing before we go, and I mentioned this in the last, uh, I think it was the post game reaction to NC State. There's something happening. Something's going on to the munch of uh, the, the munch. <clears throat> Something's going on uh, in the month of March that you guys need to be paying attention to. And I haven't done the best job of promoting it on the channel. Been doing a lot on Twitter. So if you're not following us on X or Twitter, whatever you still call it, uh, go over and do that. I'll put the link down in the description below for you guys to go click that and go follow us. So what's going on? What What's what's happening? Well, I can tell you a little bit. I can't tell you everything yet, but I can tell you a little bit. And basically, I'll boil it down for this because the full reveal comes this April. And I have a trailer that I'm going to show you guys as well right here in just a second. But the talk around the nation so far has been college realignment. We saw it crazy this past offseason, right before the football season went down, and everything that's been going crazy with it. It's exciting. It's fun. It's cool. Everybody's talking about the new looks for college football, college basketball, and baseball, and everything else. But nobody's talking about the next hottest thing, and that is college podcasting realignment. Even though the North Carolina Tar Heels haven't moved for out of the ACC or anything, the Heel brothers have. And we have some exciting news to share with you early in the month of April. And I'm excited to give you just a little bit of a sneak peek. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you all for being here. Again, let me know what you guys think about North Carolina Notre Dame a preview down below. And I will see you all later. And go Heels. No, 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 no! Um.